question that everyone has, can a Tesla or an electric vehicle work in extremely cold temperatures? The truth, they definitely have reduced range. It is minus 30 outside, minus 40 or worse with a wind chill. That is super cold. I'm just leaving on my way to pick up a check for our last uh, gas vehicle that we will likely ever own. And it is really cold. Why the reduced range doesn't actually affect you? Well, that's a question that I would like to answer. There are a lot of people who think an electric vehicle, a battery electric vehicle, can't do very well in the cold. Well, the truth is, range is reduced drastically if it's really cold. I'm expecting I'm doing about a 25 kilometers or so of driving uh, to pick up a check for our last gas vehicle. But I'm not worried about it. extremely well even when it's this cold and slick the car is nice and warm inside I would say I've got it a bit on cool I wore a, a warm jacket but I am not wearing heavy socks and it's still staying warm it's now reporting minus 25 it's actually minus 29 it always takes the temperature gauge a while to, to come back down to reality and the efficiency I would say it's looking like it's just above 50% that that number is in the realm of 50% efficiency uh, like I said I'm not worried about worried about it at all there's a an essential truth to driving when it's this cold and it's simply that I don't want to be outside no one does it doesn't matter what kind of vehicle I drive I'm not going to be driving around all day when it's minus 30 because I don't want to get out of the car I don't want to walk around at minus 30 so yes it doesn't matter that much uh, that's that's the truth so if there is reduced efficiency, it doesn't really matter too much. Plus, I've noticed, and I have some, some data to back this up, that we drive considerably less as the winter drags on, the, the weather gets colder. We reduce the number of trips that we have to do. So, yeah, it's not a big deal. I have the fan at two. Uh, I have the AC running doesn't necessarily need to be running the windows aren't getting fogged up uh, which isn't too bad considering it is near that minus 30 mark and it's keeping me warm that was slippery car stopped in its tracks for being on ice. Standard range plus rear wheel drive. It handles very well.
So we just sold our car. We will no longer have an internal combustion engine in our family, uh, gas or diesel or otherwise. <clears throat> All electric. So even when it's minus 29, we still have to deal with this weather and reduce efficiency. Uh, it's not that bad uh, because you just you don't need it. You're not driving a lot when it's this cold. So back to some of those facts. Yes, it's reduced. Range is definitely reduced. But it's enough for as little as we want to drive. When it's this cold, you don't want to go outside. So the amount you drive is reduced. So I don't really know if it matters. It's almost reduced the same amount as as the amount you you reduce your driving when it's this cold. Something else to think about when you're driving in this kind of cold weather, you want to have your tire pressure inflated uh, a little more than you would normally. And that's because, as you can see here, it's minus 29, and it's even reporting minus 27 on the screen, finally. The tire pressure is about four, oh, that's like six pounds less than the tires are actually inflated to. So the tires are inflated to about 45, and right now they're reading 38 and 39. So it really does make a difference in, in mileage too if you have your tires reduced air pressure you're going to see even worse efficiency kept fairly warm today it's been inside it's been charging inside uh, it got cold from being outside and it really has reduced the regen driving isn't making a big difference with the regen it's not coming back so that is something else that uh, happens when it's this cold the battery just cannot get warm sure I've driven about 20 kilometers. That might be the total of someone's commute on a work day where they need to get out and go to work, maybe do an errand or something after. In the absolute cold, minus 29, minus 40 with a wind chill, it is cold. Can this car perform? The answer? Yes. Very well.
so we have driven over 20 kilometers. We have done better than 50% efficiency, I think. The results will I'll share in the video. And what does that mean? Uh, there's probably at least 10% of this battery each way if you had a 20 kilometer each way commute. Uh, you do have to factor in a little bit of energy to warm the vehicle up, especially if you were are uh, going out in a day like this. You don't want to just drive away with a cool battery. So that is another factor. Warm your battery up before you start driving. And we're going to do other fun little tests where we do things like drive without warming the battery too too much to see if the car warms up or not and those aren't recommended things but they are interesting things to compare with a, a gas vehicle with your normal internal combustion vehicle uh, anyway hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching if you liked the video then please give us a thumbs up if you didn't then feel free to give us a thumbs down don't forget to subscribe. We're, we'll have regular content and we don't want you to miss out. Absolutely. And if you have any tips or any questions about the car, tips for the videos, then feel free to, again to comment down below. Uh, please use our Tesla referral if we've helped you make a decision on going electric with the Tesla. If you're going electric with another uh, manufacturer, that's great. For more bite-sized content, follow us on Instagram at Rocky Mountain Tesla. If you want to be a guest on the show, drive around in this and, and talk about EVs, then DM us or comment below as well. Awesome. Thank you. Later.